Hey, young Steph. Um, I'm going to take this time to chat to you about some things that I know you're feeling at the moment that you don't quite understand. So it's called anxiety and there's nothing wrong with you. It's manageable and it's actually super common. For now, I just wish that you could just focus on changing your self-talk. Nobody hates you and you're not doomed to fail because that's actually the anxiety telling you that. Also, you're not allergic to Caesar salad, by the way, and you don't have asthma. Um, Those are panic attacks, not asthma or an allergic reaction, but we'll laugh about that one day soon. In fact, Steph, the stuff that you don't like about yourself at the moment, they're all the things that will eventually make you successful because your authenticity and how you wear your heart on your sleeve and your sensitivity, if you can trust yourself, those are the things that allow you to be vulnerable in a way that allows you to reach people. That's a really special thing. But until then, I just want to warn you that you can't trust everyone and you're not a bitch for creating boundaries. You know who I'm talking about and I just want to tell you and remind you, you shouldn't be bullied into forgiving someone because the behaviour will repeat and, by the way, it does and it'll leave you in a headspace that you really don't deserve. Which is the other thing, by the way, you don't deserve to feel sad all the time. I don't know... why you feel like you deserve punishment because of your character flaws, just cut yourself some slack. If you want to be the best daughter and sister and friend and girlfriend, I promise it actually starts with you just liking yourself a bit more. I know that it hurts you that your nickname is Sorry, um, but that's also like a fair nickname because you say it so much, like so much. Stop saying sorry all the time. You don't need to apologise for your existence. And also it's super annoying and you'll see that soon and then you'll wish that you'd known sooner. So here I am. You get tougher as you get older and it doesn't feel nice to not be the sweet Steph that you wanted to be but you actually still are that and actually you need to get tougher because you're actually in a really unique position to be the voice that, that you, little Steph, probably desperately needed to hear right now. So please get tough and just be staunch in your identity. Learn all that you can about Nan and Grandad Jack and just always keep them in your mind. Spend more time with your aunties and uncles, especially Auntie Teen. Learn about mum, learn about mum's mum and seriously see the strength of the women in your bloodline. And please remember that culture is such a gift. Just ignore the ignorant and racist voices at school because I don't know what they're talking about. So speak up without feeling shame or fear. I'm telling you this because otherwise you'll get to my age and you'll kick yourself you didn't do it more often. Basically, just ease up on yourself. Perfection isn't real. And you are real, by the way, and that being as real as you can is is what's going to give you your strength. So use this time to learn about culture instead of ripping yourself down. Instead of being fearful of how your peers are judging you, you know what, just stuff them.